World of the Occult Good morning, and welcome to the Mana to Live By. One day at a time. 5-Minute Devotionals Today is October 2nd. Reading for our meditation today is from Deuteronomy, chapter 18 and verses 10 and 11. There shall not be found among you anyone, who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or, one who practices witchcraft, or a soothsayer, or one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or, one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. God warned his people Israel against any dabbling in the world of the occult. All the activities listed in today's verses are, connected with demonism and must therefore be avoided. The warning is just as applicable to believers today, as it was in the Old Testament. Divination is fortune-telling. It includes the use of the crystal ball, clairvoyance, palm reading, phrenology, reading teacups, and every other similar effort to foretell the future. An observer of times, is an astrologer, one who uses the position of the stars and planets, to project their influence on human affairs. The daily horoscope, in the newspaper is connected with astrology, as is the use of the signs of the zodiac. An enchanter, is one who influences others by charms and incantations. A witch, is a woman who exercises supernatural power through contact with demons. The contacts are ultimately evil and injurious. A charmer, is one who pronounces bans or curses on others and who has demonic power to make them come to pass. Such curses are ineffective on believers. Consulters, with familiar spirits or mediums who are able to contact the world of evil spirits. These spirits often impersonate dead relatives of those, who consult the mediums. A wizard, is one who uses magical arts in the realm of spiritism. Sometimes, wizard is the male form of the word witch. A necromancer, is a person who professes to conjure the spirits of the dead, in order to reveal the future or influence events. Christians, should avoid all these and also such modem manifestations of spiritism as yoga, transcendental meditation, Hare Krishna, seances, black magic, white magic, hypnotism, water divining, spiritistic healing, numerology, and praying to the dead. They should also know about the stock and trade items for spiritists such as mind-expanding drugs, the Ouija board, playing cards, tarot cards, dice, pendants, medallions, amulets, dominoes, sticks, and bones, when used for mystical purposes. Let's pray. Lord, the devil is attempting to deceive us into dabbling in the world of the occult. Help us, Lord, to keep away from his scheming by your strength and your word. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. World of the Occult Today's Mana, originally written by William MacDonald Adapted and developed as Mana to Live By, 5-Minute Devotionals for You Too By John Benjamin For previous day's Mana, please click the channel link given in the description box below. Thank you. And to God be the glory.